what it do, what it do. This is your boy, KQKC Boxing Network. And we made it to the end of the week. Of the, I'm sorry, end of the month. And I want to thank every last, every last supporter. Thank you. You motivate me to get and do this seven days a week or six days a week. And I thank you. Now, let's talk about it. Devin Hain. Roley Romero. According to Mushroom Boxer Chairman, no other than Eddie the Snake Her believes that this fight makes sense. Maybe it does. Maybe, maybe, maybe it can happen down the line. Because I have news for you. Devin Haney is not fighting Roley Romero. Now, let's back up for a minute. Now, of course, Roley Romero was pretty much hit calipoo to the stage of bullshit talking. Which pretty much got his name ringing. You know, the uh, Devin Haney saying, email bitch. You know, that type, right? Well, now that the WBA is trying to clean up their act, so therefore, they took Roley Romero belt, which it was or was an interim belt. So now, they are ordering. They are ordering. I repeat, this is boxing updates. So I have to tell you, they are ordering no other than Javante Tank Davis versus Roley Marrero. That's right. And Javante Davis will be fighting. I'm 100% he will be fighting in December. Now, KQKC and boxing updates don't go 100%. It's always that small, that small, that small problem that carries around the boxing community. And that's vacant injuries, loaded glove, and all of the above. Oh, I'm sorry, and playing fucking crazy. Now, we all know that Adrian Broner is right now in a rehab. Now, of course, hey, I'm praying for the brother. Now, you can love him or you can loathe him, but pray for the brother that he's okay and that he will come out of this uh -uh, in his right fucking mind. But then again, I think about it. Did he have one to begin with? Now, that wasn't a joke. I'm serious. Fuck that. All right? Now, let's get back to this Roley Romero. Now, Roley Romero told Devin Haney, told everybody, told the interviewers, told the world, I don't want to fight Devin Haney. I want to fight Javante Davis. That's who I want to fight. He's a champion. He's a champion. That's who I want to fight. Well, now, Roly, your ass, your mouth wrote a check that your ass and mouth can't cash. Now the WBA has ordered. Because, see, the WBA is getting rid of, getting rid of all the intern bills. Now, in place of uh, 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 refunding the governor body fees, they put them in a position to fight for a, another belt. Now, they put in Roley Marrero, which is from TMT, and Javante Davis, which is also from TMT, would be mashed up together. And yes, yes, they will have a fight come December now, what date, I don't know exactly, but I will be ready for those uh, questions um, at 12.30 p.m. Central Time. Now, of course, Javante Davis welcome that. Matter of fact, he can't wait to shut his ass up. But I got this strange feeling. Man, I'm sorry, people, but I don't mean to bust your bubble. I don't mean to bust your fun. I don't mean to bust your, 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 your outlet of boxing. 
But 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 I got this strange feeling that he's going to come down crazy too. Or maybe he's going to have the coronavirus. Or maybe, or just maybe, he knows that he's in for an ass whooping. You see, I look at boxing this way, my brothers and sisters. Boxing is this to me. Boxing is honest. Boxing is calm. Boxing is gentle. And boxing is damn true. Now the calm is gentle. And it's true. And that means true to yourself. You can use boxing to calm your nerves. Calm yourself down. But it's gentle. But then again, it's rough. Then you got gentle. Gentle, that means in boxing, you know, uh, you can be gentle, but you can be strong. You can be subtle. You can be subtle with strength. That's what boxing, to me, is all about. Then, you got true. First of all, you got to be true to yourself. You have to be honest with yourself. You got to show transparency. To yourself. Does a champion. Show calm. Honesty. Gentle and true. Does a champion today. Push the money side. To the side. And think about. This is not a team sport. I'm not going to worry about. When I lose the big, big, big game and everybody on the bus is crying, then my teammates on the football team. Because, see, remember this. It's no team in boxing. It's I in boxing. And Javante Davis, as soon, as soon as he learns that, as soon as he has that tenacity that no one has to tell him to work out, to get up and run, to be the best you can be, then he's not going to learn. You see, Roland Marrero is a clown. He's a jester of the king. And right now, I believe at 135, because Javante Davis will be fighting at 135 because he vacated his belt. He will be fighting as a king. As a king of this division. So I say to you people, if Roley have any self-respect, if Floyd had taught him anything, which I doubt, at least teach him integrity. At least teach him humility. Because sometimes we need humility in our lives. For us to understand what not to ever go back to. So, in closing, I will tell you this. Roland Marrero don't want Devin Haney. Ryan Garcia don't want a damn hand. Jojo Diaz don't want Devin Haney. And what we'll make it so bad with Diaz, Mr. Edward Snake Hearn was pushing for this fight. He wanted this fight. But like every other boxer, Lopez, they see the raw talent in this young man. They know this man's backstory. They know he didn't grow up with a white picket fence around his fucking house. Oh, somebody. Whoa, whoa, somebody. Talk to me. Don't you get tired? Don't you get tired of the same old shit? But you know what? I tip my hat off to one guy, 
the one guy that really, really counts. And who really, really, really is shaking that shit off. And he's shaking it off with a smile. And we talking about Devin the Dream Haney. Don't get me wrong. I'm not no fan, boy. I'm a boxing fan. And sometimes it might hurt. It might sting a little bit. But I'm going to tell you the fucking truth. That's what we do right here at KQKC Boxing Network. We tell the truth. We tell it like it is. Now, if you don't like it, that's okay. We all got opinion. Just like we got all got assholes. We all have our opinion. We all have our favorite fighters. We all look at things differently. That's what makes this new channel or network unique. Unique. This ain't no go along, get along channel. We all have different ethnicity groups. We all have different genes in our bodies. Male, female, transgender. But one thing I can say, at the end of the day, we are a family. And this is what family does. We tell the truth. And I'm telling you the truth right now. The WBA has ordered Javante Davis to fight Roley Romero in December. So we'll see. We'll see how that works out. We will see how that works out. So I say to you, thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your patience. Because, see, without you, none of this would be possible. So, Devin Haney, keep your head up, young man. Keep fighting whoever they put in front of you. Because sooner or later, much sooner than later, the government body is going to start mandating, start ordering these so-called fake-ass champions. The fake-ass champions don't have the honesty, don't have that calm, don't have that gentle and don't have that true warrior in them. I am KQ, KC Boxing Network. And this, and this, and this has been Boxing Updates. And shout out to my brothers, the almighty LD and BC. I'm on to the next one. If not, I will see you at 12.30 p.m. Central Time. We will talk about this in detail. I'm out.